Hello everyone and welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound. Today we are going to be doing the performance build of the Chevy Corvette Stingray Convertible 2020. So for the engine we are just using the stock 6.2 liter V8 for this build. Uh, a lot of my builds I try to stay with the stock engine just to keep the build cheap. But as you might have noticed sometimes that's not always the case and I will swap out the engine. But for this one, stock engine, don't worry about wasting your money on switching it. For the parts, we have the Pro Induction, the Pro ECU, the Pro Fuel System, the Elite Exhaust System. We're going with naturally aspirated, so no fun turbo noises on this one. The Sport Nitrous, the Neutral Elite Suspension, Elite Brakes, Elite Grip Tires, Elite Clutch, with the seven speed super gearbox, the elite deferential, uh, super nitrous grip, and super nitrous drift. You can change those out to be whatever you want. For the handling, we have 75% grip, 100% high on the steering sensitivity, high on the downforce with traction control and drift entry off. And we have a zero to 60 of 2.7 seconds with a top speed of 184 and a quarter mile of 11 seconds. So, Let's go hop into a few races and uh, see how this thing's going to perform for us. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going up against a GTR in this here race. No idea how that one's going to perform versus mine. Um, I've seen some really good GTR builds, and I've seen some really bad GTR builds. Uh, let's see how it compares to my build. So it's staying with me off the line pretty well. And looks like it's about to pass me. Let's see how things go in this first corner. A little slidey there. That's okay. We corrected that. Ah, my car did a little hop and I just lost it in that corner right into that oncoming piece of traffic. Unfortunately. All right, let's see if I can catch back up to this guy and get my lead back. It's my lead and I want it, darn it. Ooh, that was close. That was a solid barrier wall. So he is taking turns very wide. Alright, let's save it for this corner, shall we? Bursting through those corners is the best way to take them because you get the most grip. And you can usually fly right through them without a problem. Usually, unless you have a little bit of a squirrely build and your back end gets a little loose and you do like a 180. Which has happened more often than I can count with many different builds. Let's see if this guy catches up or not without me screwing up. Me screwing up is definitely an easy possibility. Oh, that wall wanted to be close friends, but I said, no, I have enough friends. But not enough subscribers. I can always use more of those. So I managed to get my lead back, take the lead, win. That's race one. Let's see how two and three go. So this Corvette is the one I used to complete the driving a Chevy and A-plus races. I had experimented with a couple other ones earlier on, like the Bel Air. Uh, I think I used the Bel Air in B-class, and then once I was done with that, I never touched it again. 
I might have to revisit it and see if I can build it into a better machine than what it was. Um, but this was this was my A plus vehicle. Wow, did he mess his launch up? I didn't expect him to be that far back after the last race when he was like neck and neck with me. Okay, there it is. I was like, what? I didn't get any grip knots out of that? Are you serious? I don't think he can corner that GTR at all. I think that's the problem. Ah! That car wanted a piece of me, and I said, nope! No, thank you, sir! So I'm really surprised this GTR is as far back as it is, considering in the last race I actually had to get my lead back from it. Oop, got a little loose there. That's that 75% grip coming into play. Um, and, you know, using your nitrous going through a corner. Not always the most advisable thing with any vehicle. But other ones, you can do it. This one, uh, apparently it didn't want to do it through that one. And let's hit this bridge and go flying! Be nice if I had a better vehicle to test this build against, but the fact that I had a close race with it in one and I smoked it in this one... Um, it's a decent sample size for two races. <laughs> Alright, we'll go get this cornery little race out of the way. And I think this one's going to determine really if this is a good build or not. Um, corners can be a problem for this one. It didn't look like it was in the last one. Sometimes it can be though. Um, but I don't think that GTR is built to take corners. I think they built it for speed and not handling. Which, hey, on long straight courses, hey, that'll get you some wins. But on pretty much any other course that has any curves in it, you're done. Oh, he's not even trying. He gave up. Like, I get it. You're, there's no way you're going to win if you don't try. But at the same time, there's no way you're going to improve if you don't try either. Oh, did he change his mind? Did he decide to start going? Oh, he did. Interesting. Don't know why he waited that long. I mean, there's no way he screwed up his launch that bad. Or she. I keep saying he. I need to stop doing that. It could be a girl. Or it could be somebody that is neither male or female. I need to remember that as well. Sorry if that ticks some people off, but, you know. Try to be inclusive. Everybody deserves to be treated nicely. Okay, this thing's doing a lot better on these corners than I had feared that it might. Oof, that was a little close. stretch now a little bit of uh, drifty drift a little micro drift there I wasn't even trying to do that I like it when you have happy accidents and that's the ball game I mean I give them props for eventually starting to go I just don't understand why they took so long to start going off the line I don't know if they weren't paying attention, were going to give up and decided against it, or what, but, I mean, I give them props for eventually trying. Uh, yeah. 
So, I mean, a little over two minutes for this build. Not the fastest one I've ever had, but definitely not the worst. Um, so that's going to do it for me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave comments. Uh, you all take it easy. In the meantime, I'll catch you later.